I went through 52 past papers so that you don't have to and this is everything that I found for GCSE AQA triple paper one physics. Higher. This is going to be talking about the frequency of the topics. It's not a prediction or anything. It's just trends from previous years. So from the most to the least, it's series and parallel circuits, current resistance and potential difference, energy stores and systems, static charge and electric fields, national and global energy resources, resistors, changes of state and specific latent heat, temperature changes and specific heat capacity, radioactive decay, and pressure in gases. Medley has once again helped me with the analysis. If you haven't heard of Medley yet, they're an interactive learning platform which students have found really helpful and then like an organized way for you guys to go over content that you haven't gone through in a long time. Now you can see from the frequency itself that electricity is a very high mark topic. The majority of the high frequency content was actually from the electrical circuits topic. One way that you can understand the context when it comes to electricity is to actually imagine it like water flowing. You can think of the current as like water in a pipe and the voltage as like the pump, basically the water pump. The more pump, the more force is being pushed out from the pump itself, the more current will flow, the more water will flow. The resistance is just something that opposes the current itself. Now, in terms of the mistakes, the majority of the mistakes that students make is when it comes to the calculations, which makes sense because a lot of the topics are calculations in physics. And it's usually in converting the units, particularly from centimeters to meters, which is divided by 100, grams to kilograms, which is divided by 1,000, hours to seconds, milliamps to amps. Students also often forget to round the numbers when they ask specifically for like two significant figures or three significant figures, something like that. One way that you can tackle this, especially since you're given the equation sheet, is to always write down the equation first, rearrange it if you have to rearrange it, and then plug in the values. And last but not least, always check the units before you start calculating. Some common mistakes that students make in electricity itself is the drawing circuit diagrams itself. Students often don't know how to do that. You can easily practice with that using a lot of online resources, with of course Medley being one of them. You also want to learn about the key differences between a series and a parallel circuit. In a series circuit, you can see it as if it's like a TV series where the content is always the same all throughout, just like the current being all the same. While if it's a parallel circuit, then it's going to be split up, so it's going to be different, the current's going to be different. You also want to use the right keywords for this. If you use the wrong keywords, you're not going to get the marks. And doing a bunch of calculation practice as well. Come back for paper two. Bye!